Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for BeerGeekNation.com. Today we are doing another brewery spotlight, a brewery feature. Uh, again, I like to do these every once in a while to kind of focus on an up and coming, maybe a smaller brewery that you guys haven't heard of, but I think that you probably should. And this one comes from Oklahoma, uh, Midwest City, Oklahoma to be exact. This is Rough Tail Brewing Company. Um, they are about two, two and a half years old. And I got to give a big thanks to Jeff who works over there for getting a ton, contacting with me and kind of setting me up with these beers. These beers are all, all very, very fresh. They do can most of their beers. I'm um, talking some of these cans are only like a couple days old. So thank you for doing that. I appreciate that. Um, definitely. So a lot of great beer coming out of the Midwest, Oklahoma now. And these guys apparently are one of the better ones. So let me just start uh, getting right into this from my left to my right. We are going to look at their pale, which they describe as kind of a West Coast pale ale. So let's call it an IPA. 5.5%. They're using Warrior, Centennial, El Dorado, and Mosaic. We are then going to look at their 12th round, which is, uh, I guess they're describing it as an American strong ale, I think, kind of like an arrogant bastard, a hoppy American strong ale. 7.6%, uh, they're using Apollo and Chinook in this one. And then this is their straight up, uh, what they're just calling it, rough tail IPA, 6.7%, uh, and they're using some crazy hops in this one. Columbus, Citrus, Simcoe, Summit, Centennial. I got a feeling this one's going to be super, super dank, especially with Summit, Centennial, Simcoe in there, got just all really dank hops. Uh, we're then going to move on to their Polar Night, which is their stout coming in at 8% alcohol by volume, but it's a kind of aggressively hop stout, so maybe more of like a, a black IPA, but they're definitely, it is their stout, says right on the can. And finally, this is their Hoptometrist, which is their Imperial IPA, double IPA, coming in at 9% alcohol by vert, by, by by volume, so kind of verging on that triple IPA. Um, and this one actually uses rotating hops, so I'm not sure which particular hops are in this batch, but it is a rotating variety. Um, love the can designs, it tells you how to serve the beer, what glass to serve it in, uh, it gives you like these, these levels of uh, maltiness, bitterness, aroma, sweetness, aggressiveness, so just very, very cool designs all around. Um, looking forward to it, so let me just get right into the pail here. Oh wow, yeah, yeah, big tropical fruitiness. Pineapple, tons of peach, sweet orange peel. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, I definitely don't think your classic pale ale though. It's very, very hoppy. Uh, not very hoppy, but it's definitely more like an IPA-ish type pale ale. Wow, super dry body, nice clean hoppiness. Sweet, tropical, a little bit of citrus in there. Very, very nice. Get a lot like an orange candy type of flavor in there, a little bit of pineapple peach. Very, very clean and refreshing, nice stuff. So let's move on to the 12th round, which is their strong ale. And let me just put this out here. I had the hardest time kind of going down the line of which one to do first. So what I kind of did is kind of took the lighter beers, maybe less hoppy beers, and then I kind of moved up to the more hoppy beers. That was my thinking at least. So let's get into the 12th round, the strong ale. Yeah, definitely getting a little bit of a dankness, a little bit of a hop sweetness in there. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Caramel, toffee, big malty backbone. But there's a ton of bitterness to kind of help contrast that. Definitely getting like a little bit of citrus, uh, pineapple, grapefruit. Um, kind of a dank resiny bitterness in there as well. It's very, very interesting. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Arrogant Bass, so let me just put that out there. This I really like. It's got the maltiness, it's got the hoppiness. Uh, it's very, very interesting. It's got a lot of flavors going on that I don't know that I've ever had in a beer. It's a, it's a crazy kind of dank bitterness mixed with this really kind of nice sweet maltiness. And it comes together to form this really, really nice beer. That's a really interesting beer. Um, not too many people are doing American strong ales. You know, they do, but they kind of just save them for one off. And so it's nice to see something like that. That's, that's really, really an interesting beer. I like that stuff. So this is their Rough Tail IPA. Again, this is 6.7%, and I know this is gonna be dank. Oh, yeah, yeah. Big, oniony, garlic, dank, resinous notes. Some peach, citrus, grapefruit rind. Oh, that's good. Wow, yeah, super dank, bitter, resinous, aggressive. Nice dry biscuity maltiness there, really there just to accentuate the hops. That is killer IPA, wow. Yeah, wow, super, super dank, oniony, garlicky, just really aggressive, like pull the enamel off your teeth, bitterness in there, but at the same time, the malt, the dry maltiness really balances that out. 
adding a nice kind of sweet layer, a very subtle sweetness in there to help cut, cut some of that bitterness. Super dry in the finish, more of that dank, resinous, kind of just hoppiness hanging out in the back of the palate, in the back of the throat. Really, really, really nice stuff. That's a great IPA. So now we're moving on to their uh, Polar Night Stout. And this one is, again, 8%. And I think it's Apollo... I should have written them down. I think it was Apollo hops in here, and there was another one too, I think. Uh, I don't know why I didn't, but I'm an idiot. That's why. So, cheers. Oh, wow. Big chocolate coffee. Um, kind of like a grapefruity hoppiness in there. A little bit of a sweet hoppiness. Some orange, maybe. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Kind of like a black IPA, but definitely more stout heavy. Um, so just think it's a basically a hoppy stout uh, more than a black IPA. Right at the front of the tongue, chocolate bitterness, coffee bitterness, hoppy bitterness, that grapefruit kind of uh, bitterness, tartness in there as well. Middle of the mouth, there's kind of a residual kind of sweet milk chocolate, sweet um, essence to it, for lack of a better word. Um, some coffee in there, definitely getting that hop characteristic. It's grapefruit, very West Coast kind of bitterness, um, dry, but then you have those stout characteristics that are kind of mixing with it, blending it, making, making it come together really, really nicely. In the aftertaste, that's where it's really interesting. It's sweet, and at the same time, it's kind of dry and bitter. Some grapefruit. Um, if you've ever had one of those um, chocolates, that like those orange flavored chocolates, that's what this reminds me a lot of. There's some sweetness in there. As, as I've had this, I had a couple sips of this before I shot the video, and as this warms up, I'm starting to get more of the stout characteristics, and the hops are kind of falling to the background a little bit, but that's kind of a good thing. Uh, they're definitely still there, though. This is definitely a very aggressively hopped uh, stout. It's really, really interesting stuff. It's nice to see somebody try something like this and not make it and just straight up call it a black IPA. It's good. Oh, I like that, yeah. <clears throat> and certainly, last but not least, um, it is the Hoptometrist, 9% alcohol by volume. Again, rotating hops, and this is year-round for them, so it's their double IPA. Oh, wow. Super dank, pungent, mango, tropical fruits, but at the same time, you're getting a little of that West Coast kind of dry bitterness. Ooh. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow. Wow. Right at the front of the tongue. Big smack of bitterness. I mean, kind of tongue numbing a little bit. Uh, middle of the mouth. Nice, sweet maltiness in there to really help balance out the aggressiveness. This one comes in at over 100 IBUs. So very, very aggressive beer. Dank, dank, dank. It's, it reminds me a lot of the IPA, just kind of taken up to the next level. You're getting that big dankness. I'm getting that oniony, garlicky type of flavor in there. But I'm also getting that West Coast kind of grapefruit, piney um, flavors mixed in there. There's a little bit of peach, mango, papaya, that tropical fruit. A little bit of everything, and it really does all come together. Really solid malt backbone in this one. Not too sweet, not too malty. Doesn't take away from the hops, but it's definitely there to help balance it out. Uh, very, very dry in the aftertaste. 9%. I'm not getting any booze on this one at all. Very, very well-crafted, well-presented beer. Awesome, awesome stuff. So that's it, man. These guys are killing it. Wow, and that was... <laughs> Yeah, good nice. Uh, Rough Tail Brewing out of Oklahoma. Have you guys heard of them? If not, definitely, definitely check them out. They are killing it. Their hoppy beers are awesome. Their pale ale is awesome. The strong ale was very, very interesting. I've never had anything quite like it. The hoppy stout, um, it's great. Somebody actually nailed a hoppy stout. That's They're few and far between, let me tell you. Um, just awesome stuff. These guys are absolutely killing it. So check them out. Uh, Rough Tail Brewing, look out for them. And thank you, Jeff, once again. For that, with all that said, folks, remember life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.